them out. I'm French. I've been here in China eight years ago. I first planned to stay a year and then I stayed. I'm assistant of my master, Master Gao. This is Sanda Shaolin uh, Master. I think it's very hard to learn Kung Fu. You must like really train hard. You should put your art in it. I try to do that here in my training when I was training. I'm still training actually. And but the same when I'm teaching, I try to put my heart and help people to improve. Chinese kids here when they come they are very young. The youngest I knew when he came was in the group was eleven and now he's almost like sixteen or and I saw him growing here. Uh, it's not just about learning Kung Fu and martial arts skills, it's as well about become a man and learn how to behave. You know in China the martial arts and the Kung Fu, people who practice Kung Fu, they got like very good reputation, they should be like very clean person. They train harder than others. You suffer together, but you improve together. A lot of discipline, a lot of respect for masters and other people. It's good for foreigners. For Westerners to meet Chinese, when they train with other Chinese students, they ju can just share some simple words with them, but they share the training, they share their life for a while, maybe six months, maybe three months, maybe a year or more, depending on how long the Westerners stay here. We're focusing more on the fight, this aspect of the Shaolin, fighting skills, and then we use the Sanda, because Sanda is a sport you can practice in competition and in everywhere on earth. The roots are the same, it's always Shaolin and Kung Fu. I'm Daisy, um, I'm from Germany and I'm studying, uh, I studied at Kung Fu Mountain Academy for 10 months now. During my stay I got to meet amazing people and made a lot of new friends. When I first came here I was very overweight, I think I weighed about 92 kilos. And I couldn't run, like whatsoever. My endurance was really bad. Mm, my first few weeks were very tough. Like, I, I think I nearly fainted three times. <laughs> but uh, with the help like, of my master and the other students in my group, you know, always screaming Jayo and you know, encouraging me, I was able like, to push myself beyond any like, limitations. I think down to 74 kilograms now and my endurance is pretty good, I think. And I've never been fitter in my life. The biggest gain I've got from staying here is the mental aspect. Back home I'd be very stressed about school and exams and since I've been here it's like it's like peace of mind in a very refreshing and freeing summer. So <laughs> my sparring experience uh, it was also very tough. Not a lot of girls like to be punched in the face or just punched in general but uh, I really wanted to learn how to fight and how to defend myself. Shifu pushed me a lot so I, and put me up against opponents that were better like in technique and that's how I improved a lot as well and I'm really happy with what I've accomplished. I think the, the group spirit we have in Sanda is uh, amazing, like I've never experienced anything like that before. While you're training it's just the energy of everyone, it kind of gives you energy too and you're just full of power you know, to push through training. James. From the U.S., I uh, did Muay Thai kickboxing for a number of years, uh, kind of on and off again, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's kind of my passion. Uh, while I was in Thailand one time, I came across another student that uh, had trained Kung Fu in China, and that's what kind of inspired me to come here and, and check it out. When, once I tried the group, just the spirit of the group, the energy in the group kind of kept me, kept me there. <laughs> there's training, and there's eating and sleeping and training. There's not, uh, I mean, you can just, you can create distractions for yourself, but otherwise there's not a whole lot of outside distractions for you. I do, I really enjoy that. In your group you also train with some Chinese. And they definitely set the example for the other students. Uh, I mean, any time, maybe you didn't hear uh, instructions from the master clearly, uh, but they did, you know, they, they jump right on it and you can just follow them. 
or you kind of look to see, like, to make sure you're doing something right, you can kind of just glance over and, like, okay, yes, this is what we're working on. Uh, they really are quite exceptional. They've got explosive power that uh, I did not expect to see in, in uh, students of their age. Uh, it's quite impressive. And the masters, like, sometimes, sometimes you don't necessarily know why they're pushing you in a particular way, but they always seem to kind of know where it's going to take you and how it's going to improve you. Coaches included just give really good guidance and assistance. So yeah, that's, yeah it's been an overall just a good experience.